Welcome to Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, motor vehicle sales for June rose to 13.1 million units, up 800,000 from the previous month. The ISM non-manufacturing index for June rose 11.7 points to 57.1, much better than expected. Markets opened strong on news that China's Shanghai Composite Stock Exchange jumped over 5% and news that Warren Buffett made his first major deal this year buying natural gas assets from Dominion Energy for about $10 billion. Tech did particularly well with Amazon and Netflix reaching all-time highs. By the end of the day, the Dow Industrials closed 459 points higher and the Nasdaq Composite surged 2.2% to an all-time high. On Tuesday, the JOLTS job openings report for May rose an unexpectedly strong 8% to 5.397 million. Markets fell sharply on profit-taking as investors grew more concerned on the growing wave of coronavirus infections. At the close, the Dow Industrials was down 396 points. On Wednesday, the EIA Petroleum Status Report for the week ending July 3rd saw crude oil inventory increase 5.7 million barrels. Confirmed coronavirus cases in the U.S. grew to over 3 million. However, the fatality rate remained low. 10-year treasuries yielded 0.65%, West Texas Intermediate Crude closed at $40.84 a barrel, and gold rose to $1,809 an ounce. The Nasdaq Composite rose 1.4% to set another record high. On Thursday, jobless claims for the week ending July 4th rose 1.3 million, down 99,000 from the prior week. Markets opened sharply lower as coronavirus hospitalizations and deaths continue to rise in many parts of the country. Companies profiting from people staying at home saw their share values increase, with the Nasdaq Composite increasing a half percent to close at another record high. However, the broader market didn't do well with the S&P 500 sliding six-tenths of a percent by the close. On Friday, the producer price index for June fell two-tenths of a percent compared to the previous month's four four-tenths of a percent gain. Markets open lower, however, by mid-morning, we're trending around break-even. This is Walker's Market Weekly. I'm Mark Walker, and I'll see you again next week.